Jenna was new to the area and she was on Bumble and she saw Dave's profile and it said owner of, of Aces and she didn't know much about baseball so she thought he was the owner of the Aces hardware store in Ocean City. <laughs> So she swiped left, nothing of it, and then her friend was like, oh, Jenna, there's this guy I want to hook you up with, and lo and behold, we're here today. Looks so beautiful. He looks so good. <laughs> I love the bow tie. Oh, I can't believe it's here. And I can't believe you're mine. I've been so like nervous and excited, like happy nerves. Like I can't believe I'm you're here. You're right here. We're doing this. We've waited our whole life for this. Time and time, I do it all again. Jenna, this story began nearly nine years ago six months before I even met you. It was a night in May, and I remember my mom telling me that I needed a rock, a person that could balance me, a person that would love me for who I am, forgetful, sidetracked, and always late. <laughs> David Crowley Wiggum. So when I started writing my vows, um, the only thing that really I kept going back to was this one particular quote. Um, it's by someone famous that probably most of you know, um, and it happens to be Lizzo. So as you know, it's about damn time. But on a serious note, I have dreamt of this moment my entire life, and now I can't believe that it's finally happening. I get to stand in front of the man of my dreams with everyone who means so much to us, and I get to marry him. Thank you, Jesus, for today. Thank you again for the opportunity we have today to celebrate Dave and Jenna. Thank you for their lives together. Thank you for their new life together now that begins today. I thank you for blessing us. I thank you for marriage. I thank you for love. I pray today, God, that you'd be honored that Dave and Jenna would, would show love to their friends and families today by their ceremony. I thank you for who you are. It's in your amazing name that I pray. Amen. You may all have a seat. Ah, uh, we're finally here. met you at Sky Bar, I knew you were going to be something special. But by the time we made it to Fagers, I knew I was going to marry you. I knew that based on your looks and your personality and your awesome, wicked dance skills, I was attracted to you. But then, soon after, I learned that you were hardworking, caring, loyal, and you put family first. And that's what made me fall in love. Then, a short time later, I got to witness you into the role of dad. And somehow, my heart just loved you way more than I could have ever imagined. You naturally became the best father to McKenna. And watching the patience and love that you give her is something that I had only dreamed of in a man. As we've talked many times before, it's almost like we're already married. 
and it's been like that for the last couple years. We've already done most things that most married couples do. And while I stand up here in front of you today, I'm positive that you are exactly who I'm supposed to spend my forever with. I knew right away you would be my soulmate. So many of these people here today were with us on that first night. And I think that everybody knew right from the start what we were. Jenna, you were the most compassionate, fun, and genuine person that I've ever met. Every day I'm inspired by you and all the things you do. There are many moments that I've looked at you and I've said, wow, this can't get any better. And here we are today in a place we've always dreamed of together. If there's anything I've learned in my life, it's to value experiences over material possessions. You are so much fun all the time, and I cannot wait for a lifetime of fun and adventure with you. I promise to fulfill my role as a husband, and I promise to take care of you and McKenna for as long as I'm alive. May God bless us and protect us and guide us for the rest of our lives. Here's to forever. I love you. Dave and Jenna, by the power that's vested in me by my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and by the state of Maryland, I now pronounce you husband and wife. David, you may kiss your bride. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you for the first time in public, Mr. and Mrs. David Wiggum. has a funny way of sorting itself out, but it has been an absolute blessing watching our friendship flourish through the chaos of life. It has been even more rewarding watching your relationship with Dave evolve and handing my best friend over to her partner in life. I'm so happy Dave has found a loyal, upbeat, and admiring confidant to now call his wife. Thank you for all the love and support you give to him in good times and bad and for all the support you get to his, to his profession as the ace's presence, presence, I know cannot be easy at times. And last but not least, to the wonderful mommy of him, McKenna. And I could not have imagined a better match for her husband. Dave, you are motivated and driven to success. You're also gentle and kind-hearted. And you always bring out the best in Jenna. I watch you encourage Jenna to be herself and love who she is. 
which in my unbiased opinion is perfect. The qualities you both possess are the perfect combination for a successful relationship. I've loved watching you both grow together.